in the video on the uh, full size versus three quarter size, I mentioned the um, shuttle carrier in my Singer 127 had a um, spring broken off. And um, since making that film, I went and dug through my stash of parts and found a um, carrier from a lot of uh, Singer 128 parts that I had bought. And interestingly enough, the 127 and the 128 both use the same shuttle and the same carrier. So uh, all I have to do is clean this carrier up a little bit and I can install it in the place of this carrier here and get rid of that annoying rattle that you heard in the video. Replacing the carrier means tipping the machine back on the hinges to get at the screw which holds the uh, carrier in place. As you can see right here. With the uh, carrier removed, you can more clearly see what's broken. Here's the carrier that was in that machine. You can see the spring there that's broken right where the uh, corner is turned. And here's one with an undamaged spring. Okay, with the other carrier installed, we need to uh, reinsert the shuttle and then check the clearance of the shuttle against the shuttle race. Okay, in the Singer Adjuster's Manual, they recommend a, um, a gauge because the clearance is needed uh, to make sure that there's sufficient clearance between the um, for the thread. But I'm going to test it. If the shuttle actually in place, and you notice that clicking noise is gone now, mostly. Okay, check for skip stitches here. pretty good okay so I think the adjustment is alright we'll flip the machine back up and I'll tighten the screw down that holds the uh, carrier to the um, carrier lever much quieter now no clunky clunky clunk So if you're buying a shuttle machine or thinking about uh, using one, be sure to check out that uh, carrier to make sure that, that spring is intact. Now I don't remember if the um, Model 27 and Model 28 have that spring or not. I don't think so. I think they're a much simpler design. Alright. Thanks for watching.